One of the women accusing Roy Moore has been hiding a big secret. Among many others, Judge Roy Moore received a sexual accusation. Allegedly, he had sexual conduct with a 14-year-old girl, when he was 32 years old. However, the timing of this accusation is a little odd. Among many others, Judge Roy Moore received a sexual accusation. Allegedly, he had sexual conduct with a 14-year-old girl, when he was 32 years old. However, the timing of this accusation is a little odd. According to Alan B. West, this news came after around 30 years, and right after Moore won the Senate primary election. It is something similar to what has happened to President Donald Trump. Regarding this case, there is a new revelation. Al.com reported, one of the women who said Senate candidate Troy Moore pursued her while she was in high school worked for Hillary Clinton's campaign as a sign language interpreter, according to videos and documents posted online. Deborah Wesson Gibson, owner of the interpreting company Signs of Excellence, provided services for Clinton during her 2016 campaign, as well as working with former Democratic Vice President Joe Biden during other events. Photos posted to her company's social media site show her providing sign language services for Senator Patrick Murphy and Senator Bill Nelson, both Florida Democrats. Gibson's company has offices in Florida and Alabama, providing sign language interpretation to businesses, politicians, governments and more. This also a little odd, that the accusations are coming from Hillary campaign member. Roy Moore declared that the allegations are dishonest and untrue. Share this story. Among many others, Judge Roy Moore received a sexual accusation. Allegedly, he had sexual conduct with a 14-year-old girl, when he was 32 years old. However, the timing of this accusation is a little odd. According to Alan B. West, this news came after around 30 years, and right after Moore won the Senate primary election. It is something similar to what has happened to President Donald Trump. Regarding this case, there is a new revelation. Al.com reported, one of the women who said Senate candidate Troy Moore pursued her while she was in high school worked for Hillary Clinton's campaign as a sign language interpreter, according to videos and documents posted online. Deborah Wesson Gibson, owner of the interpreting company Signs of Excellence, provided services for Clinton during her 2016 campaign as well as working with former Democratic Vice President Joe Biden during other events. Photos posted to her company's social media site show her providing sign language services for Senator Patrick Murphy and Senator Bill Nelson, both Florida Democrats. Gibson's company has offices in Florida and Alabama, providing sign language interpretation to businesses, politicians, governments and more. This also a little odd that the accusations are coming from Hillary campaign member. Roy Moore declared that the allegations are dishonest and untrue. According to Fox News, Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore lashed out Thursday at what he called the Obama-Clinton machine's liberal media lapdogs after the Washington Post reported on a woman's claims that the former judge and staunch social conservative initiated a sexual encounter with her when she was 14. In a series of tweets Thursday evening, Moore claimed the forces of evil will lie, cheat, steal dash even inflict physical harm dash if they believe it will silence and shut up Christian conservatives. Even though things about cases like this one should be believed, but this is not the first time that someone wants to ruin a career based on a sexual allegation. The liberals only want him to be removed, guilty or not. The Hill reported, embattled Alabama GOP Senate nominee Roy Moore is tied with Democrat Doug Jones in a new poll on Friday, one day after accusations surfaced that Moore had inappropriate sexual contact with a 14-year-old girl decades ago. Moore and Jones are tied at 46% in the new poll by Decision Desk and Opinion Savvy, with 82% of respondents aware of the new allegations leveled by named accusers in the Washington Post. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think. Think.